Welcome to this presentation and demonstration on OPC UA Information Modeling and Beyond's UA Model Accelerator, UMX. The Industrial Internet of Things is redefining how businesses will be managed and operated and how they will interact with their customers and the rest of the supply chain. Developed by the OPC Foundation, the Unified Architecture Standard is globally accepted as the one information and operational technology standard that provides a vendor-independent way for sensors, devices, controllers, and systems to effectively interoperate without the need for custom integration. OPC UA is the interoperability standard for industrial automation. One of the most important and least understood features of OPC UA is information modeling. Currently, most automation systems use tags, tag editors, and tag servers to define and manage the data in their systems. Architecturally, tag servers live on a centralized hardware platform and pulls, retrieves, and stores the data for the controllers they are connected to. The server provides data updates to the vendors HMI, MES, and Historian systems and provides services to write commands and data back to the controllers. Tag-based systems have been very successful but they were vendor-specific, had centralized data, only addressed plant floor data, and required significant custom integration to exchange data with other systems in the manufacturing enterprise. Enter OPC UA Information Modeling and Edge Computing. Edge Computing is a new term that's being used in the IoT world. Edge Computing is defined by a distributed, open IT, and decentralized architecture where data is processed and managed by the applications rather than being transmitted to a centralized data server for consumption by clients and other applications. The OPC UA standard and its information modeling capability are the enablers for edge computing architectures. Tag servers, which previously were centralized and held only plant floor data, are now distributed and enable interoperability and information exchange for all applications existing within the enterprise, from sensor to cloud. OPC UA supports a client-server architecture, but it's a distributed, decentralized one. In OPC UA, any physical entity, application, or system that has data is a server. Examples are sensors, valves, motors, pumps, PLCs, packaging machines, and robots, just to name a few. All OPC UA servers define their data and services in a standard way by defining their information model. An important distinction is that an information model is a generic model not a definition of the actual physical addresses of the data and services for an application. OPC UA has defined standard information model building blocks that UA refers to as node types. Node types such as object, variable, data type, method, event, and reference are used to build a model. Our example shows a robot model consisting of an arm object that has a property, position, that has a method, turn on, off, and so on. Another important distinction of a UA information model is the reference node type, which is used to define a relationship between the nodes in a model. With the UA node types, basically any application's data and services can be defined, even applications that are not equipped to work with higher level model constructs. This flexibility is why OPC UA is so powerful and why it can be used by industry standards organizations to define information models for their application area. Once an information model is defined, it is instantiated for specific robots essentially defining a robot's digital twin. A UA information model is the basis for defining a digital twin for any physical asset, like our robot example. A digital twin is a digital representation of the robot in cyberspace, and now includes the actual data values associated with the instance. Through the robot's digital twin, any OPC UA client can visualize the robot through the data that is exposed and interact with it through the services that are exposed. UA information models are commonly defined using XML code, which is difficult to write, administer, and impossible to visualize. That is, unless a graphical information modeling tool is used. Beyond has developed an open source UA graphical information model editor named UA Model Accelerator. UMX is used to build, visualize, instantiate, and compile information models for OPC UA servers, eliminating the need to manually edit XML code. Once a model is instantiated, it is compiled to create a node set. 
that is used by the OPC UA server to expose the data and services to OPC UA clients. The UMX editor is used to create new information models or to load existing information models that were defined by industry standard organizations like PLC Open and MT Connect. For our demonstration, we will select an information model that was defined for our robot. Remember, the robot's information model is a generic one. To create an instance, I click on the object and select Add, then select the type definition, click Robot Type, and click OK. I can then give the robot instance a better name. If I have two robots, I can quickly add a second instance in the same manner. Once the instance is created and saved, I can compile the model, creating a node set. The node set is used by the robot's OPC UA server to expose its data and services to clients. This is an example of what a node set document looks like. We introduced the concepts of an OPC UA information model and how it is used to define physical entities, systems, and applications so they can seamlessly interoperate in an enterprise's cyber physical system. The OPC UA information model is used to define a comprehensive digital twin for a physical entity consisting of objects, data, services, and how they all relate to one another. New tools like Beyond's UA Model Accelerator, UMX, allows technology vendors to define, visualize, edit, and maintain their information models easily, creating a digital twin for a physical entity without writing any XML code. Thank you for watching.